Hi, I'm Chris Jordan. I am the media coach at My Pocket Coach, and I am very glad to have a little small session of uh, self reflection. And um, well, I suppose, uh, psh, man, uh, uh, introspection, I would say, uh, just because I know I always talk about the semantics of living in the digital age and what media does to you, but this everyone, everyone can obviously relate to. Uh, because just with my students this, this past week and a half or so, uh, we've been focusing on the aspect of how slowly and slowly and slowly the digital age has started to like, crumb off parts of ourselves that are opening up a lot of insecurities, whether you are 18 or 15, whether you're on TikTok, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, it doesn't really matter. And whether you are 40 or 50, whether you have a lot of money, a lot of status, or you are just the next Joe or Joe on the street, it doesn't really matter. Like if you are living in that space, I was reading an article uh, that particularly started this debate where uh, there was a play being held somewhere in the uh, southern states of the US and um, it was by 11 kids, right? So uh, 11 kids that had to actually act out for an audience, a script that helped them get in touch with the things that we need to get in touch with on a regular basis, like for example, our self-actualization, our understanding of what our real fears are in life, not the like button. I'll talk about the like button in just a moment, keep it short. Um, and the students actually said they really didn't recognize any of the character roles and what they were, uh, man, uh, they, they, they were, uh, I suppose, um, uh, uh, it's inspired to kind of draw some kind of uh, insp when I say inspiration and relevance and uh, you know resemblance uh, which was why this article was so important because it brought about this conversation of how far away we have um, uh, disconnected with ourselves particularly because I know that a lot of the other coaches as well as myself who do at the end of the day want to look at our own like self health self wealth and again, once again, self-actualization. It is very important to note that what, wherever we are right now, you need to take stock as to how much the digital age has actually cracked away uh, that, that, that very tangible uh, amount of self-confidence and self-worth. And so uh, take, take moments every day to slowly but surely move back into a situation where you know, like I am both digitally savvy, I am digitally present, but I am also real life present, and I own, and I uh, like I own, and I'm proud, and I'm confident uh, for many other reasons, except that like button, which I know is super difficult. We all fall for it. We all are guilty of it, and we do. Um, I suppose we, we we again, like I said, validate, but we also start to um, uh, count ourselves on a, on a certain scale based on those things and uh, when we look in the mirror we don't really want to admit it inside it's uh, it's quite embarrassing too but this is part of how we are in 2022 so wishing you like good mental health forward with great social presence both in reality and in the digital space